coming to you from SFCS Studio 402. This is Shannon Today. Mrs. Kelly, happy birthday, July 1st. <clears throat> Third grader, 
Sophia Garber has a birthday July 3rd. Fifth grader Henry Wilde will celebrate his birthday July 5th. Third grader Quinn Brakefield turns a year older July 8th. Second grader Matthew Keaton, he's in my class. And KT friend Caleb Groom both have a birthday July 13th. Second grader Edward Long has a birthday July 14th. There are two birthdays to celebrate July 15th. Fourth grade teacher Mrs. Souls and second grader Margaret Devine. Did you know that that Margaret Devine is in my class? Well, you've got a lot of people. I like just do. So lucky. K4 friend Maxwell Pachetti turns a year older July 20th. Fifth grader Sarah Ma and KT friend Bryce Stevens both celebrate their birthdays July 21st. Happy birthday! Oh. Totally, for sure. I just got a manicure the sun. It's out there, bleaching out my gorgeous hair. 24, 34, I don't even know the score. Go, go, fight, fight. Gee, I hope I look all right. Hi, it's Tiff, and I'm here today with a weather report from Shannon. We're like totally gonna have a really warm day today, and it's like sunny skies and high in the upper 80s. That's like totally cool. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 88. Oh, that's gonna make me sweat. Friday, chance of thunderstorms high in the low 80s. Oh, thunderstorms are scary, like totally go get under my bed. Saturday, rain, chance continues, high only reaching 74. We might need to keep an umbrella totally ready. Sunday and Monday, absolutely beautiful. Highs around 80, no rain in sight, and that's totally good news. Get outside and play, because it's a beautiful day. That's your weather on Wednesday. I'm Tiff, back to you. Thanks, Mrs. Cooper, Mrs. Kurtz, and Tiff. You know, that Tiff girl kind of looks like our lower school administrator, Mrs. Muse. I thought so, too. Whoever she is, she's like totally awesome, for sure. <laughs> hey, we've got a couple more birthdays. We need to add to that list earlier. Our librarian, Mrs. Malone, and her twin sister. K5A, Mrs. Eastup, will celebrate their special day on Tuesday, May 16th, along with Rebecca. We love you girls. You sure don't want to forget them. Now it's time for Picture Monday! Let's go to K4 teachers, Mrs. Bradley and Mrs. McLaughlin, to find out more about this week's picture. Each week on Picture Monday, we will show you a portion of a picture and ask you to try to identify it. Here's the picture we showed last week. Watch as we reveal the whole picture. We had so many correct guesses. I'm not sure how we're gonna cover all the names. It's gonna be tough. But we're gonna try. Ready? All right, here we go. Ben, David, Maddie, Avery, Caitlin, K, Sayla, Caitlin W, Noah, Evan, and Alex. Sebastian, Luca, Abe, Matt, Gabby, Landon, Arthur, Wyatt, Reese, Kaylee, Hannah, Kelly. Joshua, Rico, Sylvia, Caroline, J, Edward, Jacob H, Lily, Tucker, James, and Kyle K. Samuel, Chloe, Jacob, Luis, Caden, Andrea, Hannah, Reese, Stella, Campbell, and Kate. Addison, Margaret, Sammy, Gavin, Chase, Ella, Grace, the entire K-5 class in one big vote for this wow. book. Hayden and Natalie. Allie, Briggs, Addie, Sela, Mackenzie, Garrett, Megan, Carson, Henry, Caroline C., and last but not least, Xander. Whew, that was a lot. And some people did turn in their guesses, but forgot to put their names Love on them. them. We're so glad you recognize this really great book written by our guest author from a few weeks ago, Mrs. Britton. And now, the picture for this week. Do you think you know what it is? Keep a lookout over the next few days and try to find it. If you have a guess, write it down on a piece of paper along with your name and turn it into the office. We'll reveal the whole picture next week. Happy exploring! <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Bradley and Mrs. McLaughlin. Be sure to turn in those guesses. Hey, you know what? We have some wonderful student ambassadors here at Shannon. Fifth grade teacher Mrs. Hammett sat down recently with 12th grader Sam Garrison to find out about being an ambassador at Shannon. You have been a student at Shannon for a long time. What are some of your favorite memories from your time here? 
My favorite memories would be going on the Costa Rica mission trip, being able to watch the basketball games, um, going to soccer games, and just participating in various events. What are some of the activities that you have been involved in at Shannon? I've been involved in student council, um, key club, I've been, played basketball for a year, and I'm obviously a student ambassador. <laughs> What is the best part about being a student ambassador at Shannon? I would say the best part about being a student ambassador would be being able to represent the school and be an example of Christ for everyone to see. What are your plans after you graduate? I plan on going to Clemson and studying microbiology. Wow. Thank you for your time today. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. I'm Mrs. Hammett. Now back to you. Thanks, Sam, for being a wonderful representative for our school. And congratulations on your upcoming graduation. Welcome. Now let's go to second grade teacher, Mrs. Smith, and ESOL teacher, Mrs. Full, for one of our jokes of the week. Knock, knock. I'm coming. Knock, knock. You can come in. No, that's not how this works. Oh, OK. Knock, knock. Who's there? Can you? Can you? Can you come out and play with me? Yes, I can. <laughs>
one student at a time on the monkey bars. <laughs> ladies, one at a time. Be ladies. Ooh, one at a time. Let's see you make mine at the top of the steps. This way. This way. not to do that. No standing on the basketball goal base for any reason. Woo! I'm LeBron! Yes! Look, I fit my sits! There's no playing on the rocks. I think I just felt <gasps> in my head. Get out of there! We know you all love to play soccer, but if you want to play soccer, there must be a teacher on the soccer field with you. Put them on the outside of the play area in the woods. Poke your eye out. Rules, 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 rules. School is all about rules. All of those rules up there apply to our playground down here. Uh, rules. to go. Wow, those teachers were not following the rules at all. No, they weren't. Laps for you all! Now, on to our second joke of the week. Let's go to fourth grade teachers, Mrs. Steins and Mrs. Souls, to another really funny joke. Hey, Mrs. Steins, do you want to hear a funny joke? Of course I do. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? I don't know. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that was a really great joke. Good job, guys. Our spring sports season is wrapping up soon. Our varsity's men's soccer team qualified to play the Skeezer State Tournament this past Monday in Hilton Head. The guys played really great, but unfortunately they didn't win their game. That's okay. You had a great season and we're very proud of you. Sure are. Our varsity baseball team got their first win recently against Eagle Ridge. Congratulations, guys. You can check out the full schedule of games and other sports events at ShannonForce.com. Come out and support all of our Shannon teams. Go! <laughs> now it's time for the Wonder Word for this week. Let's go to Learning Different Teacher, Mrs. Irwin, to find out this week's Wonder Word. Sorry. I 
love words. We use words all the time. We read them, we say them, we write them. It's so important to learn as many great words as you can. This year on Shannon Today, we've learned words like companion, system, hysteric, and runnel. Those are some really great words to know. Our wonder word on the last show was indifferent. That's when something doesn't really matter one way or the other. This week's wonder word is Vivacious! Here's what some students had to say about that word. What does the word vivacious mean? Um, like a vine? Like you fight somebody? Does it mean like somebody's angry? According to the dictionary, vivacious means lively and animated. You may know someone who is bubbly, jolly and really enthusiastic. They are vivacious. Be sure to share the wonder word vivacious with your family and friends. Thanks Mrs. Irwin. I like that word vivacious. We have some terrific students, teachers and administrators at Shannon. We want you to know just how wonderful we think you and you over there. You too. You are. Here's librarian Mrs. Malone and her sister K5A, Mrs. Eastap, to tell us about this week's Spectacular 7 plus 4. This week's Spectacular 7 plus 4 students are 5th grader Xander Wilkrubel, 2nd grader Sylvia Bolin, KT friend Gabriel Amador, K4 friend Eustace Bernhardt, 2nd grader Gabby Thompson, Fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Hammett. Third grader, Caitlin Kelly. K5 friend, Karis Horton. K5 friend, Charlie Cartledge. Third grader, Trace King. And fourth grader, Rebecca Smart. Be sure to check with your teacher for a special treat. Congratulations! I was gonna say that. Will you just let me say something? I don't, why can't you just let me because do it? Because you are a hog. Well, that's Thanks, Mrs. Malone and Mrs. Eastup. We really do think you're great. We really do. That's our show for today, guys. Where has the time gone? A little reminder before we go. Tomorrow is the last day to buy the senior send-off messages. Go see Miss Fame in the front office if you have someone special you want to send them to. We really appreciate the opportunity to be anchors on Shannon today this week. It's been great. The March Madness teacher Penny Ward raised a lot of money for Smiles for Hope Mission Project in Costa Rica. So from all the lower school teachers, staff, and administration, thank you. You have brought smiles to us as well. We love being a part of the special teachers edition of Shannon today. Please be sure to tell your friends and family, like you know, your uncles, neighbors, grandma, and great grandma. Um, you know, cousins, all those folks, to tune in. We want to encourage you to always try your best and to do everything in a way that brings glory and honor to God. Thanks for watching! Bye!